Every age has its own image of the world, and every image reflects the vision of its time and of its maker. This is a 19th century image of a one-celled organism, a radiolarian. Its skeleton is a series of concentric shells connected in a single crystal web. It was found at the bottom of the sea. That image was made by biologist and artist Ernst Haeckel, for whom the elegance and complexity of these tiny creatures embodied the unity of science and art. There are 5,000 known species of radiolaria, fossil and living. Haeckel alone discovered and described almost 4,000. He named and classified them, drew and painted them, and in their astonishing variety, he sought the key to the creative power of nature. For Ernst Haeckel, the radiolaria would become a lifelong obsession, a doorway to the mysteries of life itself. The microscopic radiolarian is part of the floating oceanic plankton, a frothy amoeba-like drop of protoplasm with a network of branching pseudopods to engulf and absorb tiny prey. But the radiolarian also absorbs silica from seawater then extrudes it to construct a glass-like skeleton. In each species, this translucent cage assumes a unique form. The radiolaria are over 500 million years old, among the earliest skeletonized life forms. They are like an alphabet of possibilities, as if the ancient sea were dreaming in its depths. All the future permutations of organic and invented form, from backbones to bridges, and from the earth to the stars. Many years ago, as now, my mind strove with eager delight to study and discover the creative life of nature. It is eternal unity in manifold manifestation. The great is little, the little is great, and everything after its kind. Ever changing and yet preserving itself, near and far and far and near, and so shaping and reshaping itself, I am here to wonder at it.